All right, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone that rule well and taught us this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, preaching his word and this doctrine in truth, honesty, and sincerity. Shalom. On the Bullet Chalkon from the Great Millstone Miami camp, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to make this video and this lesson. All right, a little willing to be edifying. And um, I got the Guardian pulled up here, the, the Guardian.com, and it reads, Era of global boiling has arrived, says UN chief, as July set to be the hottest month on record. Okay, so so we're coming in times where Esau, all right, he's, um, he's shifting this thing from global warming to global boiling. <laughs> from global warming to global boiling all right and um you know this devil this devil um you know he has to title everything through deception but we understand that this is not due to um uh the so-called climate change um that that is actually being pushed by man or the cause is mankind itself because that's what esau likes to push that we are the cause of this um of this effect right here you know driving too many um combustion engine cars or taking too many um flights or you know the burning of fossil fuels and um even they even blame it on cows cows that they were farting too much so this devil is is saying um global warming has come to an end and now we're coming to the times of something called global boiling. All right. They say climate change is here. It is terrifying and it is just the beginning. It is still possible to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and avoid the very worst of climate change. All right. And that word climate change has been, um, has been being pounded in our brains since I was in elementary school. We had someone called Al Gore that was one of the forerunners of this uh, this um, agenda, this climate change agenda, which Esau also uses as an excuse to charge and tax companies. They got something called the carbon tax, carbon emissions tax, I believe. And um, they pass it on down to companies and the companies pass it on down to the consumers. But, um. Reading right here, it says global temperatures this month have shattered records according to the World Meteorological Organization and the EU's Copernicus Earth Observation Program stoked by burning of fossil fuels and spurring violent weather. So this devil is blaming it on fossil fuels. <laughs> Look, pollution as well. The steady rise of global average temperatures driven by pollution that traps sunlight and acts like a greenhouse around the Earth has made extreme weather extremes worse all right and this is actually um this is being declared by the u.n chief the united nations okay but let's get the precepts all right because um see esau's blaming this on man but it's really the lord that is um that is doing all of this okay this is our uh, revelation chapter 16 i'll start at <clears throat> I started on um, verse uh verse verse eight. It says, and the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of the Most High Yahweh, which had power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. All right, so what, what we're seeing now is actually the Lord um, using his angels to pour down the wrath, all right, of his will upon the earth, okay? So the angel is pouring his vial on the sun, all right? And the, and the Lord is giving the angel power to scorch men with heat. That's why we're seeing a lot of these uh, these rises in temperatures. That's why we're seeing um, the earth getting hotter. You know, I live down in um, Miami and... Um, it's, it's, they're saying it's been the hottest uh, The hottest month was in July For the 4th of July I believe 
but I, I think that record was already broken. I think already has been broken. Um, but what we're seeing now is the Lord plaguing the earth. All right, the Lord is plaguing the earth with a uh, fire. All right, to the point where you know this video circulating the the web where the tail lights of cars are melting off the damn car. All right, so this is the Lord that's doing this. All right. Okay, and um, really what it is, is the reason why is because the earth is, is, is given to the hands of the wicked and wickedness is increasing upon the earth. All right, we just, uh, you know, we had the, the alphabet, um, the alphabet month, which it was the worst, most wicked month up unto date. All right, they were protesting and they were marching and, you know, you had these Edomites running around butt naked. You had uh, also Jake and Keisha, you know participating in that wickedness so the lord is bringing judgment all right and it's not a coincidence that it's the month right after so-called pride month all right but we know all right but we know that um this is the lord that's doing this okay the lord is doing this this is um isaiah isaiah 20 29 verse 6 those shall Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest, the flame of devouring fire. All right. And we just read right now that um, they're saying that it's um, is due to spur spurring violent weather. Okay. So again, the Lord, this is the Lord of visiting the earth. All right. For its wickedness. And this is only going to continue to increase and get worse. The reason why we see these earthquakes, the reason why we see these volcanoes erupt, the reason why we see these floodings, the reason why we see this um, dramatic increase in, in, in heat temperature, it is the it is the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, that's bringing judgment upon the earth. All right, and these things are going to continue to get worse, but this is just the beginning. All right, this is just the beginning. You know, like how when you get a frozen pizza, and then you put it in the oven, right? You got to put it on preheat. And then eventually it gets to a certain temperature and then you start cooking the food. All right. So the Lord is putting the earth on preheat. <laughs> the earth is on preheat mode right now. Okay. Because the Lord is going to come with fire. Okay. That is prophecy. All right. We're living in the times of prophecy and Jake doesn't even realize it. All right. Because why? They're being deceived. They're, they're being deceived by the devil. All right. The so-called white man, which is Esau. See, but we're not ignorant of his, um, of his deceit. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, right? Because the Lord, the Lord through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, is giving us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to understand and decipher the things that's going on around us, okay? 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, all right? And Satan is um, the so-called white man working in the, on the left-hand side for, for the Lord, all right? So Satan uses the white man, all right, which is Esau, the so-called so Caucasian man, to fulfill the Lord's bidding on the left-hand side, okay? And part of his devices, all right, is something that's called climate change, all right? Climate change or global warming or global boiling. And, um, you know, this is one of his deceptions that this devil has used to, uh, to push, um, you know, his wicked agenda, all right? So one of this devil's devices, all right, is something that we're now seeing global warming to global boiling all right and this devil is going to start pushing more draconian measures all right this devil is going to start pushing more tax they're going to push more taxes all right on companies all right they're blaming it on fossil fuels when really is the lord and you know these average peon jakes and these average uh edomites they go they could fall for this but these elites and these um, these biblical scholars that know the truth, all right, because Esau has his true biblical scholars and Esau has his, his, his low level biblical scholars, all right, but the true biblical scholars that Esau uses, all right, the elite uses, they know that this is the Lord, they know that this is prophecy and it's not some damn um, fossil fuels, okay, but that's why the Lord is going to visit this earth with fire, all right, and that is prophecy. Second Peter chapter three verse seven, and then I'll close out with this one. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same words, 
but the same word are kept in store reserved until fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly okay let's get that in the not and by the same word all right the present heavens and earth have been stored up for fire they are kept for the day of judgment when ungodly people will be destroyed all right and that is the second death okay the lord the first death was um water which the lord came and he flooded the whole earth because um of its wickedness which we know that we're back in those times all right we're back in the times of noah so the lord is going to bring the second death all right which is fire okay which is going to be composed of two elements it's going to be composed of the intercontinental nuclear ballistic missile fire and the concentrated fire from the laser beams of the of the so-called ufos which are the chariots of yahweh bahashim yahweh shai all right to destroy this earth all right and take over these uh and destroy these kingdoms all right and they're primarily those nukes they're going to primarily hit america all right and um, a good example is that um when you see uh the movie terminator all right they call they got something called the day the day the day of judgment all right where uh, the whole world blows up and you just see um you know the earth just get completely devoured by fire which is what which is esau knowing the prophecies all right esau does not wake up and he just he just doesn't wake up and decide this is how i'm gonna direct this movie no these uh these directors in the hollywood films and you know these uh these higher these higher ups all right in the entertainment industry the true higher ups they understand the prophecies too as well all right because they're juiced in all right they're juiced in um in these secret societies and these cl secret clubs all right which it comes with truth all right when you look up the word illuminati it just means um you know in the light around there or uh, roughly paraphrasing a uh, light bearer i believe um but you know part of that part of that light is uh, actually understanding certain scriptures to an extent all right but the point is that the earth is going to come back the lord is going to come back with fire all right and he's going to destroy america with fire and brimstone once again all right the lord is going to destroy this place with fire all right just like he did sodom and gomorrah with fire and brimstone all right which is this is modern day sodom and gomorrah but what we're seeing now is just signs this is just signs that the lord is coming back and we're at the end of this thing okay which should compel you israelites all right so-called blacks latinos and native americans to repent all right because the lord is coming back speedily all right don't get it come don't get it twisted or misconstrued all right these are signs that the lord is coming back man all right so lord willing this lesson was edifying i want to give all praise honor and glory unto yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rachakudash until the next one, Shalom.